A very good evening. I, Manchi Bhara of Class 9th B2. Today, I am here to present a small activity which is based on making a spreadsheet in Excel of students as per their marks. So, without wasting any time, let's start it with the activity. I have opened Excel, Microsoft Excel, and we can see that in Excel, there are a lot of boxes. These boxes are known as cell. They form by the combination of rows and column. These numbers represent the rows and these alphabets represent the column. The highlighted cell or the cell which is having a border, dark border is known as active cell. Only in active cell we can write. Now according to our activity, let's make a spreadsheet. In A1 we can write serial number, B1 a student's name, C1, D1, E1 or more you can take. Here we can write subject names and after that we can write mark then total mark of all subjects then percentage minimum maximum and at last we will write the count after this we will write our serial number serial number starts from one and then we will drag it down and click here and fill series now we can see our number has came automatically i have written the name of the students and their the marks that they have scored in each subject like maths science and it now we will calculate their total marks for total mark firstly we will select the cell and click on equal sign after this we will go to fx and click on sum so here we have got a total mark now we will drag it down to 120 as we will divide it with 120 and after clicking enter we will got percentage of all the students here we can do a change like in students 3 and 5 we can see that after decimal there are many numbers so for removing it we can use this format firstly we will right click on it and select format cell here we will click on number and select how many decimal place we need so I need only 2 so I have selected on 2 and click on ok now we can see that it become 90.83 now same we will do in fifth, student 5th right click format cell number select the place and ok now we will do minimum maximum and count for minimum we will again apply equal sign after clicking equal sign we will write here min means short form of minimum and click on shift then open bracket then click on the c2 and then apply a ratio and write e2 bracket close then enter these all are the minimum number of the five students now it's turn of maximum same process we have to do for maximum also like clicking on equal sign then we have to write m a x mean maximum then we have to open bracket and then clicking on the cell then ratio sign then the last cell then bracket close after clicking enter yes so the maximum number is 38 and the minimum is 32 yes then we will drag it down to student 5 and these are the maximum numbers of the five students now it's enough and from c2 and the ratio sign in the last cell till where we have been eating this is the count of the student first for the rest four students we will again drag it down and we can see the count appear here it's how we have to make a spreadsheet now for making our presentation more lookable we will select it the whole data and click on the border here we will select the all border and now it's done now our presentation is over thank you and have a nice day